On my fish finders, I have two Lowrance HDS 8s. This is a Gen 1, this is a Gen 2. I have ram mounts to hold them up. And then also in the winter, I add noodles with an aluminum tube in there just to further prop it up. Because just with the cold weather and the vibration, it'll eventually work its way loose. I have it. Typically, I'll have the one on the right on down scan and conventional sonar both when I'm fishing. If I'm running down the lake, I'll just have the whole screen devoted to conventional sonar. And then on the left, I devote it solely to the maps. Um, it's really the heart of my fishing, and my favorite thing about fishing is offshore structure, working offshore structure. So I like to have one whole screen devoted to the maps, and I'll use the Navionics uh, chip map is my base and then also I use an old program called Dr. Depth and then I use ReefMaster 2 where I make my own maps and I'll show some screenshots of some maps that I've made. The, the way I typically run, run my screens when I'm walleye fishing or fishing for other bottom hugging species I'll have conventional sonar on the left and then down scan on the right. And I look at both because it's easier for me to see on conventional sonar a fish. Even a walleye sitting on the bottom, you'll see like a red lump on the bottom. And then I'll look over at my down imaging, which has greater target separation. And I'll look for an obstruction or something on the bottom, but a little gap underneath it. If I see a gap underneath it, I'll know that it's typically a fish sitting on the bottom. Whereas on conventional sonar, you'll just see a lump. You won't see that great separation that the down scan has. Okay, to power my massive amount of Lowrance electronics that I have, I have a dual purpose battery. Uh, I use it to start my boat, run my fish finders, and then the uh, bilge pump. But it's a deep cycle gel battery, 150 reserve capacity, because when I just had a normal marine starting battery and I would fish for three or four hours without starting my big motor and just run the uh, fish finders, it would wear the battery down. On my transducers, I mounted, screwed a piece of composite board to the back of my boat on both of my transducers. That way I can try different positions of the transducers, change transducers, and I don't have to keep drilling holes in my boat. This one is a 200 kilohertz and 83 kilohertz conventional sonar transducer. And this is my structure scan transducer. And then my GPS antenna, I have it mounted on the back of the boat. It's an external antenna instead of using the internal one in the GPS unit itself. That way the antenna is by my sonar transducers. So the position I'm seeing on the map is the same position that I'm seeing on my sonar and down scan imagery. A funny thing about my fish finders, I have so many fish finders and it takes up such of my viewing area that you could bend down. I had to put a block of wood underneath my seat to, to raise me up so I could see over my fish finders when I'm running down the lake and not run into any bass fishermen.